Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on my channel. I'm Diogo Tadini and today I want to speak a little more about something that it's very tricky I think for filmmakers, especially when you think that you're very artistic. So more about the business side of it, more specifically how to make money in filmmaking, what different areas you can explore and that's it, let's do it. Oh, by the way, I have some news. That's an intro now for the channel. Drop it now. So talking money now, we all want to make what we like or even what we love and obviously earn some cash to pay the bills, to buy new equipment, to do whatever you want to do with the money. So here are a few ways for filmmakers to earn some money. First one is YouTube. Everyone knows YouTube, you can make videos, grow your community, have more subscribers and more views, and then you earn some cash. Along with YouTube, you have Amazon affiliation. It's a super easy process. You just go and sign up and then you get an answer and then you post links for products. You basically create your own link and people can access that link. And if they buy anything through that link, that creates some revenue for you. So that's the second way. Along Amazon, you also have eBay and you have also a few other websites that you can create an affiliation and do the same, post a link. And if people buy using that link, you get some revenue. You also have the ability to talk to local shops, local camera shops, and if they agree, let's say that you send them some customers, if they purchase something, part of it will also create a revenue for you. Make sure that you speak to them, maybe try to get a partnership, not even a partnership, but just a collaboration. And if you send somebody there, they buy a camera, you get like, let's say 3%, just like Amazon or 5% or whatever the percentage they um, are happy with. Just talk to them, you never know. Maybe you get some possibilities there as well. Another way is to do corporate videos. We all would like to do like massive corporate videos, I understand, but we have to start from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. We all have to start from the bottom somehow. You have to start with different companies, different businesses, and we all have to do it. Best thing to do is make a list of local businesses that you are interested in, that you may be passionate about, you wanna tell their story, you just call them up or send them an email saying, can make a video for you, maybe for free, maybe you have a lower budget, maybe you have a number in mind, you decide it, but call them up and discuss with them the idea of creating a video for them. So that's another way of making some cash. So that's another way of earning some cash with your camera. As we all know, and it's very popular, weddings. If you do enjoy shooting weddings, or if you've never done, you can call production companies and you can also work on weddings, filming weddings. I did this for about seven years. Now I do as well, but I do only with a camera jib. So I'm a jib operator at weddings. I don't normally film just the bride's preparation, the groom's preparation and all that, that I used to, but still I'm involved with weddings and yeah, it does help to pay the bills. In England is very short period, is very so it's very seasonal. So you start pretty much in April and you finish roughly in September. There are weddings that happen off this period, but mainly from April to September, roughly. In your city, it might be always sunny, it might be always, you know, weddings and always great. That's even better. So if you want to make some extra cash, shoot weddings as well. I mean, it's a huge amount of work. But if you, for instance, just freelance, you just, so you just go shoot, give the production company the footage and that's that. Job done, you're happy. So that's another way of earning some cash with your camera. Web commercials or commercials themselves. Commercials are a big deal. I've done a few for web. It's, again, a huge amount of work. It does take more of who you know, rather than just be like good at what you do. Obviously internet now, you can just create a commercial of anything really for your portfolio and just, you know, show people that you were able to do it. However, web commercials, I think is the way to start if you wanna go down that path, which kind of ties up with the local businesses that I said, but not too much corporate, but more showing products and services and stuff like that, that you can also do with your camera. Another fantastic way to earn money with your clips is, I actually started doing last week, is stock footage. So there are plenty of websites that you can upload your footage and sell it. There are a 
gazillion of people doing the same thing. There are another gazillion ways that people already filmed the same thing. But if you use your own creativity and your own perspective, you can sell your footage. It's not a huge amount of money, but I think the secret for you to be independent and still earn money is have different sources and earning pretty much the same amount. So let's say that you had a job and you earned I don't know, $2,000 or pounds or whatever, I don't know where you're from, but you earn 2000 or the equivalent of $2,000. The best thing to do is have different sources to earn the same amount of money. So 200 from here, 100 from there, 500 from the other client and bada bing bada boom. You have the same amount of money earned from different sources. That is, I think, in my opinion, the best way because you don't rely only on one client. And you also have websites like uh, Patreon or kind of Kickstarter thing or, you know, other websites that is like more like crowdfund. So I actually have an account in Patreon, but I haven't really opened it properly. I haven't explored that properly. But you can ask your viewers, for instance, to support you with, I don't know, I think as low as 50p or one dollar or uh, it doesn't really matter the amount. If you have people helping you to create your content, in my opinion, that's just brilliant. So that's another way for you to earn some cash. And apart from these ways that I mentioned, I'm sure there are another billion ways of making cash. People are using their creativity, not only when they film in, but also on the business side. So remember, do not be creative only with your camera. Be also creative when you were thinking business. Oh, and by the way, if you are like me, who loves the t-shirts, there are lots of people who prefer shirts or other things. I love my t-shirts, t-shirts and jeans. That's my thing. So I've received few samples of the brand that I'm launching soon and is launched. I mean, I've, I, I did launch the store, but just to get the ball rolling, soon the website will be up. It's called Rainland and I'm going to show you now what it is about. That's the company who actually manufactures the manufactures the t-shirts and the jumpers i've received it today in the mail i'm really excited you have the invoice and you also have the t-shirts and the jumpers so let's check it out extra large let's see if that works looks great i mean that's a nice if it feels nice it's a good extra large size let me see if i can show you the logo rocking Rainland now so Rainland is a brand that I started back home, back in Brazil, probably about 15 years ago. I don't know, I can't remember how long it was ago, but it was a brand that I started with three other friends. We stopped doing it, but now I came back with it, designed a new logo, loved it. Again, really comfortable. If you want to grab one, I'll leave the link below in the description. That's that, you're gonna help me as well to continue making these videos with now rocking Rainland. Let me do the hoodie now. Oh my god, the hoodie is brilliant, really cool, feels nice, large. Let me do the hair, hair looks good. Got a string here, black, love black and white, so it feels really good. Again, with the logo, Rainland, go and get it. I don't know how long I will leave the store up. I was thinking about having a limited edition. At the moment you have t-shirts, hoodies, and also just jumpers, they look really cool. I mean, I'm really happy with mine. If you do buy one, send me a picture, post a picture and tag me on Instagram at Diogo Atadini. Make sure that you do. Or even we are Rainland. We also on Instagram. So just make sure that you do. And I also can't forget to thank Artlist. If you want any tracks for your films, visit artlist.io. They're amazing. Again, you can download pretty much as many tracks as you want, use for commercial shoots, for weddings, for, for whatever you wanna use really. $199, and if you start your subscription using my link, it will help me as well. And on that note, I'll end the video today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to click on the like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.